start with intentions and distractions. Uh, my intention is go through the agenda. There is a very uh, long agenda today, so yeah, uh, looking for it. Uh, no distractions. Pass it to you. Okay, so my intentions are just the same as yours, just to go through the agenda. And yeah, I know we have a lot of things to discuss today, especially the um, the roadmap and yeah, the timeline. And uh, yeah, I just want to give you updates on the uh, article that I'm working on. And I don't have any distraction. So. Okay, well, uh, the, well, that's the first bullet. Uh, yeah. Is that schedule like, like what time is it for you right now? Uh, now it's ten in the evening, so it's okay. It's not very ah, late for me. Yeah. 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 Okay. Awesome. Uh, so I just uh, okay. I think we just have to yeah. announce it in the channel, also that we are no, I, I, changing. I announced it on the on the community call. Then I answered. I know it was like three minutes ago, but yeah, I didn't remember. Uh, but at least I announced it on the common chat. And yeah, we also changed the calendar. Is there any place we're missing? We changed the forum. Uh, no, I mean, um, maybe <laughs> just to have an announcement because you usually um send this announcement before the meeting, right? That um the transparency yeah. is happening. I think maybe it's good to mention in the telegram channel or in the um general discord channel that uh that is this, that our meeting is happening at this hour already yeah i i did that but oh, yeah okay. i did it three, three, three minutes ago yeah. oh i missed it sorry i didn't see it sorry <laughs> okay cool uh thanks maybe i share screen so And this is the second bullet. Uh, what is this doing that? Do you, can you do legal uh, and transparency as well, right? Yep, for sure. I'm doing, um, I can do legal and um, transparency. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm recording it now. <laughs> Hi, Livia. Hello, Livy. Hello. Okay. Yeah, you, you mean nothing. We yeah, just we're talking about the like we're changing the the time for the call and yeah, just filling all all these uh, recorders and now we go on the transparency medium post. Uh, yeah, do you have any updates? Uh, I on that. Updates on the. Uh, where are we? Sorry, I'm getting my earphones. <laughs> Sorry, wait, hold on. Um, update on the transparency uh, article. Yeah, I have um started working on that. Um, I already drafted maybe a little, uh, a little content. But um, I'm planning to finish it this week, and um, I think uh, a one also said that he wanted to help. So I'm gonna reach out to him within the week, and I would ask him if uh, if there's any content he wants to add. And then once it's once it's done, I'm gonna share it with you, Zep, so you can um, add something else. If if I missed anything, and then I we can also share it with the other stewards for their um input before we uh publish it. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Thank you so much, Ivy. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, is there anything else about regarding that you want to share or? Okay, cool. That's uh, all. Awesome. About the okay, the second bullet, the mutual accountability post. It's also I can share. Uh, let me find it first. Okay, that uh, that's uh, 
Uh, we are, I mean, yeah, we did it uh, that when the thing we were doing the the last day, and uh, Libby added a lot of feedback. And yeah, I mean, uh, we uh, depending on the time we have, maybe we could uh, work on here and just finish it uh, now, maybe. Uh, I mean, there is a lot of points uh, also on the agenda, but depends how it goes. I think we could, uh, yeah, put some time. Uh, or, or otherwise, if we don't have time, then at the end of the call, it would be nice just to schedule a, a timing, just yeah, to finish it. I think in in an hour or so, we we can just finish it, just to wrap up the ideas and and check everything is well righted and yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know if you had the time to read it, Ivy, after the Libby's feedback, and if you want to add something. But yeah, it looks pretty good for me. And yeah, just need to wrap up a bit and yeah, just make it more formal. I mean, it depends if we. I mean, I think we should uh, go through the agenda, and if we then have time, uh, yeah, we go for it. But yeah, uh, I, that's my that's my update, update on the on this issue. Uh, yeah, I know you are. Okay, uh, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, I, oh, it's Nick here. Oh, great, hello, great. Uh, I, I wanted, uh, yeah, we, I was on a call with Nate uh, last week. Uh, uh, sorry for the background noise. Uh, and yeah, we were talking about, like, he was uh, telling, like, uh, what he's feeling like the community is missing. It's uh, a place where we have all the documents, because, for example, and uh, he was working on the FAQ, uh, Mitch is working on the TLDRs, then there is a lot of documentation spread around the TEC. And one thing that would uh, improve the transparency of the DAO a lot is have that, that place. And uh, I has, actually was talking that with, with Sam. And yeah, the, the two ideas we have here is uh, either or use uh, and implement all, all these documents on the Gitbook. And I don't know if that's the the place I really want to hear from you, Libby, or uh, create a wiki and yeah, start to building it. Uh, what about what about the forum? I, I feel like most of it is all on the forum. You mean having uh, all the documentation on the forum, uh, having a, a section where? We well, I guess. Well, you were saying like, hey, where is all of the information? I feel like all of the information is on the forum except or the Git book. Um, uh, or it's spread across Google Docs, and that's the, that's the stuff that's loose and, and tragic. But most of that stuff is on the forum already, right? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, or, yeah um, I, think, I think the... I think if I think people don't use enough the search engine of the forum, and maybe we could promote more that you know you can type like a b and everything that has a v will show up in the forum, and it's really easy to find resources like that. And by also in the git book we have this section for resources in each one of the things, so we can have in both like a more explicit and clean uh, place in the Git book, and then more the like everything in the forum. Um, yeah, that, that's are, a... are this, um, Nate, is Nate looking for something like uh, just one section, maybe in the forum where all the documents are listed, like a library? Is he looking something for like that? Yeah, exactly. And especially like when, for example, he was working on the FAQ and yeah, the the only way he was, uh, uh, I don't know the English word, but for example, if someone has to give him feedback on what he's writing, uh, he feels like uh, he has to go specifically to someone and tell, hey, I want your feedback instead of 
uh, like the whole community looking at that. And yeah, just like the community giving the, the feedback. Yeah, I would have loved it. I think that would have been cool to, well, it's tough. Um, but yeah, the, the forum is that spot, right? I think. I'm pretty sure the forum is the place where you post something and you get the community feedback. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and there's so, the advice process section too that we could like guide people towards there when we hear that someone wants feedback for something. I think we're not we're not using that enough also. And and I, I do like the idea of a library, but at the same time I feel like it's really hard to keep it updated. And maybe it would be easier to just like search in the forum. But we can talk about that in comms probably. Yeah, okay. I wish I, I wish libraries were a thing, but they're not. I, I really like what you have to say, Olivia. The Google this when is the last time you went to a library? Like it's Google search. So okay. So what we should do here instead of yeah, create something new, it's promote more the forum. That's like the idea we gather, right? Yeah. And I mean, the forum could be better organized. Like, definitely the tech params is not as organized as I'd like it to be. I'm sure that's just always going to be the case with everything. You know, it's never, it can always be better. But, uh, like, it could be cleaner. It could be better organized. It could, that, like, we have all these headings, but some of them are not right. You know, things get put in the wrong place. Or not headings, but you know, like there's TEC and then there's TEC dandelion voting, TEC um, conviction voting, and they could just be cleaner. Yeah. Uh, okay. Should we move on the next point? Yeah, okay. Uh, the next point is, uh, yeah, I'd be wanted to update the manifesto on the roadmap. So, yeah, let, let's give it a look all together. Uh, there's the manifesto. I think the first thing we have to update here is, yeah, the time of our meeting. And, um, but the most important thing that we have to check is our roadmap because it's not um, updated. Uh, I want to have like a timeline of our audit, update the roadmap so um, it will reflect our timeline for the rollout of the um, transparency audit. Wait, my Quick question about the audit. I we did that one together, but then there was so many like comments and feedback that I felt like um, it wouldn't be the best to post that document on advice process. But then I think you guys uh, did a new one, right? So I should fill that new one again. Um, we actually updated, we moved the, uh -huh. um, the checklist to an Excel sheet and we integrated there the feedback that we got from uh, Eduardo from you and um, Juan. And now we have this um, new sheet. So um, should, we also, should, should, should it also go through the, another advice process and, um, before we roll it out? No, no I'll say... The idea right now, uh, it's like we did all the audits and we got all the feedback and our plan now is uh, me and Ivy, for example, we do the transparency audit, but this time we go through the whole process. We will post it on the forum and the community should give us feedback and that the things we're saying there is, uh, are there true. true. And yeah, that's the, the, the plan now is like uh, we, we have all this feedback and we want to make the the transparency audit and see how it goes, uh, but the, the, fu the full system. And this should happen this spring. 
So, so you're gonna make it like post it in the forum and make it open for whoever wants to participate. To, whoever wants to participate to, to fill it up. To fill it up. I mean, no. What what I have in mind is uh, like uh, me and Ivy do this. Uh, we uh, I, I'm having a lot of eco grief. Could you mute one second? Oh, I'm Thank sorry. You. I didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what it was? Uh, yeah. What? For example, me and Ivy are going to make this audit, and. The idea is like the community validates and the things we are saying are true. It's like like testing the, the, the full system. Uh, yeah, we can say, yeah, we are full transparent, but if the people don't don't actually agree with where, what we are writing, like the idea is uh, see the involvement of the community at, uh, at that point. Because the idea of the whole audit is uh, to be done by the community and not by the transparency working group. Because I was talking that with Sam and for example, uh, if uh, if we tell to the community, yeah, transparency is uh, taking uh, reviewing the audits of all the working groups, but that that have a problem. And for example, let's say uh, people would trust transparency, and then yeah, nobody will be checking uh, the other things. So the idea is to instead of transparency doing it, making the community and and make those regenerative economies where we move while monitoring and being true not just uh, twice looking at that. Um, so yeah, so the uh, Zeb and I would uh, do it ourselves first, because um, in the trial audit, we actually didn't try the audit. Uh, other working groups tried the audit and Zeb and I haven't done it for the for our working group. So what we would do is um, answer this checklist for us, and then we will once we have this, we have completed the checklist. Um, we will post it in the forum, and um, yeah, get the feedback from the uh, from the community. So um, if something is uh, something needs to be improved during this process, then we will improve it before uh, rolling it out again finally to the uh, other working groups. So we just want to show also everyone how um, how the whole process is uh, done once we, yeah, now that the uh, document is final. But um, yeah, I wanted to know if, because we, as, as I mentioned before that I, we have revised the uh, checklist, so can we just go proceed with it or should it also should we post it again in the forum and go through the advice process no i think it's great that you guys will fulfill it and then you will put the fulfilled version in advice process so it's like two per one you know if people have something to say about the format or about the working group i think that's a good good idea I agree. Yeah, me too. Okay, so I think now, uh, yeah, well, we didn't do that part. Uh, you say we should change the timing, but I I think it's in the bottom zap, um, our working style, the last part of the document. Uh, can you scroll down? There. It's not there. Oh, here. Okay. Yeah. Us. Is there anything else we should update or? I know you wanted to check it with Nate, but yeah, he's not here. Um, the roadmap. Ah, the roadmap. Yeah, <laughs> yes, true. it's the okay. important one. So, I mean, you want to do like the roadmap like post-hatch or pre-hatch? Um, I actually want to focus on the roadmap or the timeline of the audit. Like, um, we I know that our target is to finish the this sprint the audit for the transparency working group but i also want to plot in our roadmap when we start to 
when we target to uh, have the audit for other working groups as well, so they can also have an idea and prepare for it. Should is we work with the document that Tam is using for the roadmaps, and we work there, and yeah, and we instead of having dates, having it on a sprint, would it? I think it, it makes more sense because all the working groups are doing it this way. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, anyone know where I can find this document? I feel like I can find it on the calendar. If I go on this towards call. No, it's not in here. What are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for the roadmap uh, Tam did for us, uh, like for every working group. And yeah, I, oh, I agree with Ivy, like the transparency one is not clear at all. And yeah, we we, we could uh, yeah add some input there and clarify more together. What's the, the goals? It's on the it's on the notes of the uh, spring planning call. If you go to the spring planning, there should be the Roma, or inside the agenda should be the Roma. There. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, but uh, to access this mirror board. Uh, I sent it in the, uh, in I the, sent the link. Is, I think. Yeah. Yep, it's there. Yeah, it's in the same middle board we use for spring planning. Yeah, it's okay, we are here. I mean, this spring, uh, this is this. Yeah, this spring, we are doing the. Uh, I don't know what batch means, but we're we're doing the pool. But this is only for our working group, right? So I think we can Yeah. Add that it's only for the transparency working group. And then in the next sprint, maybe we can uh, yeah, or identify which sprint we plan to start doing it for the other working groups. Put it, uh, yeah, I, I want to hear from everyone. Uh, do you think we should do more audits before the hatch or not? I, yeah, let's go around. What, what do you think, Edu? Um, I think um, it works for the working groups that are more active because it gives some perspective or to working groups that are like uh, very into a bubble, not a bubble, but like they are very hard working on like the spec, probably parameters. Like it would be nice just to have like that perspective and self um, self reflection, but yeah. Because I feel it's it's also an exercise that is healthy to do before the hatch. I'll take it. Um, yeah, I actually think it would be good to do all of them before the hatch. The only one that I want to, just like the ones that are, I, I feel like most of the groups are actually ahead of the game, doing well. So the only one that I'm like a little, you know, concerned with is common swarm so but the common swarm also is very transparent like we have so much great documentation and all that stuff so i feel like the audit would be really easy but i i hope that for them the 
Um, it doesn't happen until hatch contracts are frozen. And then like nothing happens until hatch contracts are frozen. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, I think the rest of them, uh, yeah, it'd be great to do. Google, params, um, comms. It might be interesting to try Omega too. I bet they would be really, I think they would enjoy the process and they would feel like, oh, this is this is cool. and be something they might even add. Um, they might want to have more engagement with. But yeah, I think we should do it with everyone. Yeah, I agree. I think it's something um, that puts a nice weight into uh, onboarding hatchers too. It's like, look how transparent we, we are. We even have audits of all of these working groups. Awesome. Uh, do you want to say something, Jake, or we start work high? Yeah, doing a uh, hack set. I just want to know ahead of time what day you'll come to audit so I can destroy the file cabinets and burn everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. <laughs> no, I mean, it'd probably be fun. I don't know. I mean, we're the one to be a technocracy. So if you want to come on down and ask us questions, go ahead. I don't have a problem. Show up. I'll probably give you something to do and maybe you'll never come back. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, like Griff said, we're really we're really stuck on common swarm. So we might as well do what we can do until then. OK, I think then uh, if you agree, Ivy, what we could do is, uh, yeah, I mean, this spring we're doing transparency with the full process. And then, uh, yeah, let, let's next week, for example, we do params, full process, and yeah, one week, one working group, something like that. Yeah, sure. Awesome. But, uh, yeah, how do we uh, have a process for the timing? I mean, do we assign them the sprint or do we let them uh, make, do we make this calendar and let them fill uh, which sprint they want to take when, when they want to do the audit? For example, what I was thinking is next spring. I mean, for I, example, what I was thinking. Is... Go ahead. I, I was just going to say that the the teams that are the most ahead right now are legal. Like legal's done. I mean, they can do an audit whenever you want, man. Uh, the, and and they could probably use it as an opportunity to really just like disseminate their stuff. Um, I think working group Omega isn't, doesn't have anything that's critical to hatch and would probably appreciate it. Um, and params, we need it the most because we haven't touched our manifesto in like, since we, we ne never, let's just go with never. <laughs> okay. That's to be fair. I have touched it. Like, okay. To be fair. It's true. It, it, it did happen. You, yeah. Okay, yeah, so then what we could do is, for example, next spring, uh, we do params, and yeah, and I think we do the same as we did with the, the trial audit with the other one. We offer our help, but we also let them do their own if they want. And uh, yeah, let them decide who they want to go through. But yeah, and we do the full process and then we go through advice process and, and then, yeah, in the advice process, if, for example, let's say uh, Jake wants to do it by himself and then in the advice process, we, we could give our opinions as well as a community members. Okay. Awesome. Uh, okay, now we have uh, two... Uh, no, actually, this one. We, uh, I think we could use uh, this half an hour uh, to hack on this document, and maybe we can, yeah, make the the proposal on the forum. Uh, I think everyone can edit it. So, yeah, I maybe we use this half an hour, uh, and yeah, we everyone go through this document and we add our feedback, and yeah, I think. We are a lot of people. We finish it in in the time we have. We have more than enough to finish it. 
Can you recap again what we have to do? Uh, we we have an issue uh, to yeah to, uh, to check the uh, mutual accountability methods we have on on the community and yeah with Ivy, Livy, and me we drafted that a bit, but it's not uh, formal. It's just uh, yeah make it more formal to be posted on the forum and yeah i think we can all work together here and uh, for example uh, i think it will be faster if we do it silently and yeah we will choose writing and giving our feedback on if something has, has to change and when it's ready we just post it on the forum and yeah can it's, you got, it's me, good can you send me the link yeah. on telegram Yes. Um, I sent it in the uh, transparency channel on Discord. Awesome. Thank you, Ivy.
When we say here, we understand that each individual recognize, acknowledge and contributes to our values, principles, rules and boundaries, even if it's not complete yet, would it make sense to link the kit book here? So if uh, someone wants more information, they jump onto the kit book where, where we have, yeah, all that information. Yes. We need to spam that Git book link everywhere. I say we uh, we need to tweet it. We need uh, maybe at the top of every document. I mean, it is it is our handbook. This is like, and no one's gonna read it unless we spam the fuck out of it. So if there's ever a hesitation, never hesitate to link that. Was it you that wrote this part, Zeptimus? We have clear expected behavior within the organization. Not really. Uh, the, the, you mean this? Uh, this uh, the wait. part that I commented? It sounds a bit confusing, but I don't know uh, what. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I was trying to make it in my mind, but uh, yeah. I, I still thinking on how to make it more less confusing but I what i understand yeah probably was one but what i understand here is yeah like uh, gravity have uh, these uh, graduate extensions and they are clear uh yeah i, I understand that that maybe i'm wrong but that's what I understand. Should we read it together, all together, and uh, or yeah, I, I think the, the writing maybe slow down. If someone needs more time, yeah, we're still doing the same. But if not, we we could read it, uh, yeah, loudly, uh, and and yeah, maybe if uh, if it sounds good. What do you guys think? 
Sounds good. Awesome. Okay, I'll read it. Uh, on TNC, we. Sorry, um, just before we start, please start reading. Um, shall we include the, or is it included, um, the terms and condition? Because it's also a form of um, a contability method, even if it's for the whole community, it's also for internal use. I mean, we all do the same, we all follow kind of the same terms and conditions. So, shall we put it there or we just don't? Just. Yeah, I think, yeah. Just add like new bullet. Sure. Yeah, I, sorry, it was actually there and, and I made a, a comment on it. And then I think you guys um, deleted, but maybe we can understand because the thought I had was that the code of conduct and the terms and conditions, they are like the metrics for mutual accountability. They're not really a method. Like the methods that we have are like the meetings being recorded. It, it's an action that we do to keep the community transparent. Like assigning GitHub is an action. Like having gravity is an action if a conflict um, arises, but then all of them are bound to the code of conduct and the terms as a metric of how successful the accountability is. Yeah, my question comes from the gravity point where it says gravity is accountability to behavior to our social agreements. So since we just mentioned our social agreements, I was like, okay, then we should mention at some point what is the context of this, um, of these agreements that are not social. Maybe oh, what, yeah. we could, what we could do is uh, link the terms and conditions there. And, and yeah, we have them there, but we also following what Levi say that uh, we put the bullets that we have action. Yeah, I think it could be, as Libby mentioned, have an intro, a small intro that says the following mutual accountability methods are in base of um, of the terms and conditions that you can check here. And that's it. Just to have a context, because otherwise people wouldn't know that this belongs to somewhere maybe bigger. Could you write what you just say uh, on the top? I think here is the... Yeah. Yes, I so, can. Thank you. Yeah, I agree. I, I Sorry, I thought you were suggesting to put as another topic, like uh, as the full topic. But uh, we can also put the the, gra the graduated sanctions. I think they are in the form. I'll link it there.
that document, the membership terms, uh, September, I think that's, is that the document we're working on for the terms and conditions? And I think that's not updated, right? Which one? Uh, I'm here on, well, I just did what you just teach me about the looking in the forum. Uh, I put terms and conditions, and that's the document I found. Yeah, I think we should always uh, think of the gitbook when we think about terms and conditions, because everything will be there. So in the last legal call, we decided to have like a top section to put any documents that are legal and they are in a PDF version. And then all the other documents are, are, are all going to be there. So maybe we just use that link to be easier. Okay. okay. I link it on the code of conduct. I link it that document and I don't think, I don't know if, uh, I mean, the code content will also be on the GitHub, right? Or yeah, the, this code of conduct document it's um, outdated now. We don't need to use it anymore. Okay. Okay. Can you repeat it, uh, Ivy, or, or write? Because I don't remember the exact words you use. Okay, uh, now we have uh, eight minutes, so I think what we can do is just read it and yeah, just make a run and if everyone seems it's good enough or if they would suggest any changes uh, before we post the proposal. Uh, well, I... Hey, how is that possible? Wait, wait, wait. So uh, I've been distracted with other documents, and uh, uh, but great work, guys. I, I have to run. Okay, thank See you, Riff, for joining. See ya. Uh, I I messed up a bit. Uh, I was pressing Control C because uh, I I accept one uh, one suggestion that Edu made that was adding assign one. Uh, I don't know the word he used, respond. Uh, I, I don't know the word you use, Eduardo, here. Responsible coordinator. Yeah, I, I use responsible or coordinator. Awesome. On the GitHub, OK. That's done. OK. So I read it. I read it now, and and you guys tell. Yeah, when then we do a round, and if someone would change anything, any, something or anything. Uh, mutual accountability methods. 
on the TEC, we use the following methods for the mutual accountability. The following methods are based on our terms and conditions and code of conduct that can be found in the gatebook. Uh, meetings uh, being recorded. Uh, maybe I will, uh, I'm so, oh, sorry. Uh, maybe for the introduction, it's good to mention something why we are doing this method. I mean, why what the importance of mutual accountability and why we are doing it. Uh, just a short introduction. Maybe I can add something later or tomorrow um, after, or yeah. Maybe just a, a, a context. Yeah, like a context or why why we are but yeah, what the importance of mutual accountability in these methods. You're on mute, is that? Thank you. Uh, meetings being recorded. Members will have access to information and activities going going in the community anytime and they can easily catch up if they miss some important events meetings. Recordings make our community transparent, which is a great tool for mutual accountability. Community members are also encouraged to volunteer to the records, uh, to record the calls. Assign one coordinator in the GitHub issues. This will oh. encourage the one person assigned to complete um, the task. Sorry, uh, can I interrupt? Uh, yeah. For the meetings being recorded, I just um, I just realized that the last statement is kind is contradicting to what we have in the um, meeting attendance terms because we actually discourage them to maybe we just have to make it clear that um the that they volunteer to record the calls um uh, and send it to transparency working group and not do it by themselves and use it for their personal use. Because I remember that, oh, we discouraged them to record the calls for personal use, you know, for uh, in the meeting attendance terms, I think it is there. So um, this statement is kind of contradicting. What do you think? Yeah, right. I just, mean, yeah, what, um, you're saying, what, what you're saying is true, but I feel like we are an open source community and somehow we should encourage, right, to make with the content what they want. Uh, personally, yeah, personally, I would change uh, the terms, uh, yeah, the, the meeting attendance term. terms, because personally, I think we are an open source community and we, we yeah, we want uh, the content being free. Uh, okay. Saying that, yeah, I would like to hear from you guys. Yes, but the, um, I mean, this community members also encourage the volunteer to recall the calls. It's not a, it's not a way to mutual accountability. Like it doesn't like I don't see the context. This is something that should be on top of the meetings, not something that should be on a mutual accountability section, because it's it doesn't really it doesn't has nothing to do with accountability. You know what I mean? I I would also like to jump in here with the fact that we being responsible for our recordings and uploading them to our specific YouTube channel is a is transparent. Oh, letting someone just take any of this and do anything they want with it has nothing to do with transparency. I mean, they could, you know, I mean, that's, they could do anything by recording it. It's not really the same thing. Does that make sense? So, uh, so should we remove it or should we change the wording? I will remove it and just uh, talk about the um, probably the reason. I mean, yes, just, I will just remove it. I don't see any uh, anything else that. Actually, we're on the top of the hour, and yeah, I know you guys have other things to do, so I think we could close it here. And maybe when uh, me and you leave do the interview, we could have like five minutes. Uh, to doing the last touch and I are also going to yeah add something there and yeah we just think and I think it's almost ready so yeah it's not necessary to take more time from the people in, in the call. So uh yeah thank you so much guys. Thanks everyone. Thanks guys great call. <laughs> Yay transparency you guys have a good one.
拜拜。